we're here at the home of Robert Scoble, famous, world famous blogger and social media and journalist. And uh, he's going to show us his gear. So Retrieval wants to know what gear you take along on on all your trips and either in the valley or around the world. And uh, let's start with First, your... since you're using a flip like okay. I do, I use a lot of these little small cameras now for my video. You gotta get a monopod. Okay, monopod. Uh, because you'll, you'll notice your video is gonna be a little yeah. bit shaky. Okay. It's impossible to hold small camera yeah. steady. Yeah. And this is the best thing that you'll ever get for your flip. So, so I'm playing with netbooks. I okay. have a Lenovo and I just got an HP to test out. These things are really nice. My wife loves these things, right? Yeah. Because you can throw them in a purse and you don't have to carry an extra computer bag. Uh, and they're they're good enough, you know, uh, so that you can do most yeah. things on them. Okay. And Windows 7 is really nice and it's particularly nice on netbooks because it runs uh, faster than, in many cases than XP and it has a much better UI. So uh, coming toward the end of the year as this Asus comes out on the marketplace mm -hmm. and as Windows 7 comes out, I think these are really going to be attractive to a lot of people, okay. particularly people who are feeling pinch of budget because you can get the Asus for 400 bucks. Great. This is my trusty beast, uh, my uh, Dell okay. tablet PC. And I still do yeah. a lot of, st almost everything yeah. in terms of email and web browsing I do here. I'm looking for a replacement for this one because you can see it. I've worn through the keyboard and, and it's starting to act a little goofy mm -hmm. here and there. Mm -hmm. I mean, this 17 inch never yeah. went on the road with me after a few trips. One, because the battery life never lasted long enough. So, if you're doing a lot of cross country travel, that's five to six hours in the air, right? Yeah. So, if you want to use a laptop all the way across the country, you got to make sure your battery life okay. is going to last. That's actually why I, uh, some of these netbooks aren't good enough. The new 1000H, they say last nine and a half yeah, hours. Yeah. And that's gonna be really killer yeah. if we're going cross country. Um, but like my uh, Lenovo it only yeah. has a three cell battery yeah. and only lasts uh, two hours and 15 minutes, something like that. That's not long enough for a cross country trip. I'm playing around playing with, with moving my okay. life over to these and seeing what I can do. The advantage of having a better laptop is speed and okay. resolution. The, the resolution on these things is pretty low. So having like TweetDeck, you notice I have TweetDeck on this laptop with uh, with five columns running across it. If I tried to put TweetDeck on here, I would only see three columns. Okay. And so it, there's a productivity line there where, yeah, it's lighter weight to carry it around, but uh, if you're a hardcore user like me and you want to uh, use Outlook and TweetDeck and Photoshop, any of these apps that have lots of toolbars and lots of things on the screen, that it gets less productive on these. So I'm still I'm still playing around with these. Now my wife is not a power user, right? She's not using TweetDeck, she's not using Photoshop. She just does, you know, Yahoo and, and Google e email and surfs the web. And so for her, these things are perfect. Um, so you have to decide where you are, and there's always a continuum on equipment. Uh, how much power do you need, how much resolution? I got a new MacBook, so okay. you notice I'm moving my Mac life from a 17 inch to down to a 15 inch, which is okay. a lot nicer to carry around. The, the battery on this lasts uh, four hours, uh, five hours. So you do take this MacBook too? Yeah, I'm okay. actually moving my uh, my email over here because I'm running Windows and Mac on uh, this okay. one book. So again, you take two computers down to one, mm -hmm. and um, and you know, and also get yeah. from the bigger one down to. What do you, What do you use to synchronize everything? Uh, Mobile me. In terms of so email, calendar. Uh, well. Uh, the only thing I really need to sync with is my iPhone, and Google now has a syncer that's okay. really nice uh, and syncs my calendar, my contacts. Right. And uh, the only thing I'm still now working on is moving over my task list because uh, yeah. David Allen was here, or his uh, coach was here uh, a week ago, and got my task list really. Uh, you can see it here. Oh yeah, that's right. You know, sure. Got my task list really rocking. He did so many customizations on this. So you are running. Super efficiently now, right? Super efficiently, yeah. I, I got my whole life in my, yeah. in my job. So guys list. like me come along and interrupt your whole no, <laughs> schedule. Okay, uh, so uh, so so we got your your computers here, uh, yeah. you know, covered. Now, so the other uh, thing okay. is, I carry an SLR with me almost everywhere I go because yeah. uh, when I travel, I need good pictures. Okay. And, um, 
That's a lot of camera to, to lug around. Having a 5-megapixel camera in your cell phone is pretty good. Okay, which, which cell phone is this that This is the Nokia N95. Okay. And so I carry both a Nokia and an iPhone. I, I started out with the uh, old Flip, which sure. you can get for about 100 bucks, right? Yeah. On Retrieval. Yeah, great so product, yeah. It's a great product. For yeah. YouTube videos, That you can't beat this. For a yeah. high school kid who's yeah. recording their life or whatever. Yeah. For less than a, I saw yeah. these things down to 59 bucks yeah. last Christmas. Yeah, it was a revolutionary product. It's, I mean, huge flip. It's crazy, and, and yeah. it comes with a USB cable. Yeah. You yeah. plug it into either your Mac or your yeah. PC and drag off the video and upload yeah. it to YouTube. It's, it's That's what I'm recording this on right now. Well, you're yeah. using uh, yeah, I'm the using HD ones. Yeah. And, um, so I have several HD okay. cameras because I'm, uh. I'm comparing what, what is good about them. Um, so I have the uh, flip. I have to flip okay. like you do. Yeah. I'm actually going to be okay. copying some video off okay. of it because I shot some video yesterday. And then I have the Creative Beta. Chris ah. Perillo likes this one. Okay. Best. What does he like about it? Or what do you it like has, about it? It has a wide angle lens, ah. and the video quality is a little bit better, and the audio quality is a little bit better, um, and it records more time. Okay. Have you ever had anything uh, lost or stolen, or how do you? What do you, you have I, any tips on? I, I on, lost my iPhone. I had a 3D iPhone. And where, where did you lose it? In a taxi cab. Okay. It fell out of my pocket. And I didn't notice it. And you couldn't. You couldn't recover it. No. So what'd you do? Uh, Freak, after you freaked out. I went back to the old one. <laughs> I had the old one still. Yeah. The replacement. The way the cell phones work. Because like I, I, yeah. I paid three hundred dollars for that original 3D iPhone, yeah. but it's a subsidized price, so it really cost five hundred dollars. But uh, AT and T is subsidizing the rest of the two hundred dollars off your bill over a couple months. And uh, Toshiba DVD, right. I think that costs like one hundred forty yeah. bucks. Why did you buy this one? Or keep my son entertained. I know, but I mean, how would you pick this this model? My wife picked it oh, up. Okay. At, uh, you know, up at Best Buy or something. Like okay. That. Um, and how and how is it working out? Much great. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so the keep some. It's better than anything you have. Keep some entertained. Back. And I mean, this isn't even the best one, right? It's a little bit big and, and clunky yeah. and stuff. But yeah. this is the whole life. And your son is how old? Almost two years. And now, uh, so. when's he gonna get his first iPhone? <laughs> well, he already steals my iPhone. Okay. Here. I have a bag. And that, so how did you pick this bag? Did you select this bag out of many? There's one. Rollers. Okay, you like the rollers. This is a must. Okay. Right, because uh, I have a bad back, huh? and if you're carrying a one shoulder bag through an airport at, or walking around, like at Davos, I had to walk to the conference center, which was a 20 minute walk each way. If you don't have wheels, you kill your back. Okay. Um, and, and it looks a little goofy. It looks yeah. like you're carrying luggage around. All right? okay. Some people give you a heck about that. But these are a lifesaver. Yeah. And, and so I won't buy a bag without wheels anymore. Did I you have a Kindle had, One? Uh, did you have a Kindle One? Yes, I did. And okay. actually, one of the really cool... I haven't had it for a year because I sold it. I thought the first oh, okay. one sucked. <laughs> and so... Cause well, I you weren't alone in that. I, I hated the design of it. Okay. I really liked the idea of it, but I okay. hated the design. And when, when this thing showed up, all four, of, all four of the books I had bought for the first one were Still? on this one. Wow. And so they really have... Ne this is the advantage of tying a device to a specific service, right? You, you can really do personalized things like that, right? Uh, when this thing showed up, you know, from Jeff Bezos, it says, Welcome, Robert. Uh, right. Personal touch. Personal touch, but of course, you know, it's just a computer. Have you, have you ever met Jeff Bezos? Yeah, he's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. His laugh is pretty pretty. Yeah, cool. pretty good. Well, all right, so Robert, thanks a million for thanks. taking the time and showing us your gear. Thank you, man. Thanks, okay.